Hi guys, welcome back to Great Designs. I am Twitch and today I'm doing the second piece of this decor upcycle. To find the first part in this three part series, just look in the description below. So this is just a brief recap of what I've done so far that you will see in the first one and this is the outcome of the first piece. So for this one I'm going for more of a beach house theme and I'm starting by using driftwood in the Cartamilli washed away stain range to stain this frame. So the reason I've broken this down into three videos to put to upload over the next three or four weeks is because there is a rather large challenge coming up, a YouTube challenge called uh, Spring Fling that is hosted by Sabrina over at Sabs Rehabs. I will put the link to her channel in the description. Uh, the piece that I'm going to do is going to be rather large and time consuming. So I'm going to get a jump on some content for you guys to watch in the meantime, just in case I go over time on it. So this also gives you some nice easy watching and short videos for you to enjoy. Now that that's dry, I'm going over it with Cartamilli Boutique Furniture Hemp Oil. The stains do have a built-in sealer, so there's no need to seal it, but this just helps pop the grain and liven it up a bit. And I just like the finish of it. So on the first one, I just painted the backing board, but this time I'm going to be using some Hessian. Now this is a Hessian runner that I got from Kmart. I think it was $6, $6 or $8, something like that. It just comes on a roll. It's really easy to use and cheap to use for small projects like this that you don't want to spend a fortune on. So I've just cut it to size and I'm using a large throwaway brush from Sleek Brushes and PVA glue. I don't actually throw these brushes out, I wash them and keep reusing them because I don't like wasting things and you can absolutely get plenty of uses out of them before throwing them out. Now that I've got my glue down, I'm placing the hessian on top and trying to push it down a bit. This is where I would usually put some baking paper on top and run an iron over it, over it to flatten it down firmly and dry the glue at the same time, but I have left my iron at my house and I'm not driving home to get it just to do this so this time I am weighing it down with as much as I can. Now that that is all dry I have flipped it over and I'm cutting the excess off. And again I'm using my staple gun just like last time to fix the backing board to the frame. So I'm going to be stenciling this one, no transfers this time, and I will be using Cartamilli Suffuse paint in the colour Little Lamb. It's the leftover from the paint pour that I did for the Duke challenge. I don't want to waste it, so I'm using it for this. This is also a beach house stencil from Gemini Creative. I'll put the link in the description for both of these products. So unlike the first sign, this one is going to be a vertical one. So I'm just going to take the stencil and run the letters individually down the length of the sign. Because I'm stenciling this onto Hessian, 
I don't really have to worry about bleed through on this because the Hessian kind of stops it from sliding away underneath the stencil. I wonder if you can hear that rain. Well, that's it for the second sign out of the set of three. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Don't forget there is another big challenge coming up soon called the Spring Fling hosted by Sabrina at Sabs Rehabs. So subscribe and stay tuned and see you next time.